Welcome back to The Living Flip, where my daughter Julie and her fiancé Josh are buying this house. And today is a very special episode. I asked you guys on social media to send me any kind of questions that you might have for them. We're going to do a little bit of a Q&A session. People are going to want to know. They're going to want to know the real you. So how did you guys meet? Um, you want me to answer these? Sure, go ahead. Of course. Um, well, we met working for Disney in Florida. Um, we both worked at the front desk of one of the resorts. And it took a few months, but we were friends first. And then, I don't know, turned it into something more. Okay. Do you still have the Bedbridge bookcase and where do you plan to put it in the house? <laughs> yes, I do have the, <laughs> the bookcase. Um, it's probably going to go in one of the spare bedrooms, um, still around the same bed. <laughs> um, we were using it for a little while as an entertainment unit, which was really nice, but um, I think it'll just go better back in the bedroom. Okay, Julie, how does it feel to own a house in your hometown? It's pretty awesome. Um, we really never thought that we would end up in Freehold. Um, we didn't think it was possible. <laughs> um, but it, the opportunity presented itself and I knew I would regret it if we didn't at least try for this house. So we put in an offer and fortunately or unfortunately, depending, yeah. <laughs> it was accepted. So <laughs> here we are. Okay, great. Josh, what surprised you about the process of buying your first house? It was actually kind of easy. You just find the location, find the, uh, I don't know, find everything that you wanted in the location, and this was it. And no complaints, good yeah. school system. Be willing to, you know, have your punch list of what you want, but be willing to make compromises. Um, that was our biggest thing, is we had our few things that we really, really wanted, but then other things were, good to have um, yeah, and location was the biggest thing for us so that was our main focus I guess all right what advice would you give someone buying a foreclosure be very open-minded yeah and just know going into it that you're probably gonna get nothing from the bank in terms of any kind of um, assistance or help yeah any changes that are made pre beforehand um, you know everybody does an inspection especially in New Jersey um, it's not required but it's suggested and you know most of the time that's used as a bargaining chip when you're dealing with another set of actual humans that are selling the house to say hey we want these changes made before we buy it or can we get you know X amount of dollars because we're gonna have to fix this but we knew it was a bank sale they weren't gonna do anything our realtor was really forthcoming with that information and so you know we went into it knowing okay we're getting nothing we don't we're not going to ask them for anything even though our lawyers were like hey are you sure you want to deal with this and we were like yep you know it's our only chance to get in the town that we really wanted to be in and um you know that's the biggest thing is and just be on top of everything because you're dealing with a bank so they're probably not on top of it themselves and yet they'll give you deadlines so just stay on top of everything. Describe how you envisioned the house in five years. Um, with a lot less shrubbery around the outside. <laughs> Definitely a lot more cleanup. Um, you know, the facade of the front, the inside, uh, do just, f you know flooring, you know, paint, make normal, it loved again. Just, just making things, sure yeah. that it's you know it, put it's our a taste home. into it. Yeah, definitely have our, our style, our stamp on it. And I think that was one of the reasons why we wanted to do something that did need a little bit of fixing is because we wanted it to be our own, not somebody else's vision. Um, so definitely, you know, lived in <laughs> um, will definitely be a good term in five years. But um, I'm excited to see where it actually ends up. Same. Very good. If you have any additional questions for Julie and Josh, just leave a comment below. All right, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
If you'd like to win one of several official Living Flip hats, complete with a Handy Dad TV button, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below. Thanks.